of sleep. Or if you have insomnia, that means you're up all night. I'm going to read them side effects again, and that's not all of them. Nervousness, agitation, anxiety. Anxiety is another uh, mood disorder. Again, I'm a therapist. I know these things. Sometimes I have anxiety. Stomach pain, loss of appetite, nausea, um, vomiting, dizziness, headaches, vision problems. How the hell are you going to see what's on the board if you got vision problems? Dizziness, increased blood pressure, psychosis. Well, they're saying it's something not right, what you're thinking in your mood. That's why they gave you the medication in the first place. Now, one of the side effects is psychosis, numbness, more serious side effects, fast hound, fast pounding heartbeat, feeling like you might pass out, fever, sore throat, red peeling skin, aggression, restlessness, hallucinations. Unusual behavior. Stop right there. They're given, they diagnose you with uh, ADHD because they say your, your behavior is not normal. Now you mean to tell me the side effect of what they're giving you is going to give you unusual behavior? That's the side effect? Well, I thought you diagnosed and gave me the damn medicine because you said my behavior wasn't normal. I'm bouncing all around the place. I can't focus. Now the side effect of the medicine that you give me is going to give me unusual behavior? Sis said, I've seen kids walking around like zombies. Yes, that's what it does. I've walked in classrooms, sis, and they in there sleep and don't wake up until 11 and 12 o'clock. Easy bruising, more side effects. Dangerous high blood pressure. Black people got enough damn problems with high blood pressure. Buzzing in your ears. Seizures and weight loss. All those are the common and more serious side effects of Ritalin, Adderall, and many other, other of the ADHD drugs that they prescribe. Folkland, Ritalin, Stratera, Adderall, and on and on and on. I, uh, again, when I'm in the school, I'm not just working uh, Vyvanse. That's a real dangerous one. Vyvanse. Do not let your children take that real dangerous uh it was one medication that just came out because i work with the nurses in the school too sometimes i got to take my students to the nurse do you know it's a medication that just came out last year and i'm gonna get the name of it for you that one of the possible side effects is that it could give a, 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 a 9 10 11 year old boy an erection up to two to three hours he's walking around in school with his penis sticking out his pants because this medication opens up the blood vessels which gives men erections but one of the side effects is that it opens up the blood vessels going down into the penis and it could give you an uh, a long lasting erection can you imagine an eight, nine year old boy walking around the school all day with a damn erection and it won't go down, which could damage his blood vessels. This is one of the medication. I just got to get the name of it, but it exists and I'm going to get the name of it for you. It's a new medication that they give to these boys for ADHD. Look up the side effects. I got that out of a medical dictionary. Marvin Gaye asked a good question. What's going on? Oppositional defiant disorder. What is that? Conduct disorder. Yes. This is what is going on. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your children, but from an experienced therapist, counselor, and mentor, I, I'd be very suspect with doing that. It's a money grabber. Everyone is getting rich off of the suffering of our children. And they'll put some poor white children on it too. Yeah, it ain't just black people. They'll put mostly poor white children, but upper and middle class white children, for the most part, they don't put their children on that stuff. It's poor whites, Latinos, and mainly black boys that they put on that. I've seen white children, parents say, it's gotta be some kind of other intervention or alternatives than this medicine. And I asked a doctor one time, I took a student there because he was walking around like a zombie, like our sister said. And um, that's when I started learning about this before I got into counseling. I said, he's like a zombie, his speech is slurred. And he said, man, this Vyvanse is, is strong. He said, I'm at the lower the dosage. I said, doc, would you put your child on this? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't have to answer that. I don't want to talk about it. So well, it's just a question. Would you put your child on this? 
you're the doctor. You sign off saying you're going to prescribe medicine and give medical health for the betterment of your patients. It's called a Hippocratic Oath. It should be called a hypocritical oath. So you're supposed to be doing something for the betterment of your clients. So if you wouldn't give it to your child, why would you give it to mine or someone else's? This is called a history of how blacks were labeled crazy and insane. Part two, please share this with your family and friends. And for the love of God, if your child, your grandchild, your niece, nephew, whatever, is approached by the school system, please do a thorough investigation. Because without your signature, if you're the guardian, they can't do anything. They can't. And they can't uh, make them take no medicine. And there's no such thing as no medicine that can make you act right. What's acting right? There's no such thing as an act right pill. Because that's mostly why they're giving them these children pills. They can't focus. They can't pay attention. They're all over the place. And a pill is going to fix it. They've been giving us these medications since the 80s. When we were coming up in the 80s, we ain't know nothing about these ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder, conduct disorder. We ain't hear nothing about it. We got our ass beat. Back in the day, the, the teacher was even able to paddle you until they outlawed that. Where all these diseases and diagnoses come from? came along in the 80s with crack cocaine and then the mothers uh, uh, giving birth to crack addicted children and then at the same time that gave them a justification to say see they need a pill to calm them down don't give them this uh, uh, poison that's what it is CVS Pharmacy, CVS Pharmacy, Walgreens Pharmacy, Walmart. Do you know the, uh, the word pharmacy is a Greek word that means poison and sorcery? Yes, look it up. I'm going to say it one more time. The word pharmacy is a Greek word that means sorcery and poison. And that's what they're giving our children. Five and six and seven years old on these strong psychotropic drugs. And then you wonder why 15 and 16 year olds are so damn aggressive and volatile. I just read you the side effects of this crap. Now, you can make your own decision. I didn't make this up. Get this book. It's called the Diagnostic Statistical Manual. I have three, but it's actually a, a volume five now of the Diagnostic Statistical Manual. This is a book of mental, it's the Bible of mental disorders. That's what it is. It's the Bible of mental disorders. Eating disorders, sleep disorders, schizophrenia, bipolar, any disorder that's in here. Uh, um, a psychiatrist, a therapist like myself or a counselor, we use this to diagnose and identify any mental disorder. So if you take your child and say, hey, what's going on? Or if you have some mental issues, this is what they're going to go to to diagnose you with whatever is going on. They're not going to go to Psalms for my Christian family and say, I'll read this verse. This is going to be a healing power for you. They're not going to go to the Surah or the Quran. They're going to come right to this. They're going to diagnose you with something and a pill is going to follow. And that's what they're doing with these children. Am I saying mental disorders don't exist? I'm not saying that. I just don't believe in no damn ADHD. I believe there's other alternatives and interventions that we could do to help our children that may be a little hyperactive. And it's normal, especially for boys, to have a lot of energy. It would be something wrong with them if they wasn't moving around and didn't have a lot of energy. We just have to give um, them a proper diet and have a proper and a healthy uh, environment at home so they're ready and prepared and in the right mindset to go in school and to sit down in that desk which is grueling for eight hours because we're in their system so they can learn. So they're not uh, red flagged and, and targeted to get diagnosed with these disorders. I believe there's other interventions. Having a dad in the home is 90% of it. A proper diet, don't send them to school all wired up on sugar. And then they're really going to be bouncing around. And then they're going to be saying, see, see, I told you they needed it. This is the hour of power with Brother Sharif. Go to Our Power, Sharif Hamid on YouTube. 
subscribe and share the channel so we can continue to lift the mind, body, and soul of our people. A history of how black people were labeled crazy and insane. It's a long history. Go back to part one, and then I just did part two. Share this message. I leave you in peace as I came. To my Muslim family, assalamu alaikum. To my Christian family, praise the Lord. To my Hebrew Israelite family, shalom. To my black conscious family, hotep. And to my people in the streets, what's good with you? It all means peace. I leave you in peace. Share this message. Assalamu alaikum.